Wah, wah, wah. There's just no queen like a vegan queen. Hello there, I'm Gemini. And I'm my asthma, comma and creeping. Cheers. And together we are the, the Vegan, Vegan Queens. Queens. Back with our episode two of our review of RuPaul's Drag Race UK episode two, Hanty. Why am I doing an American accent and I don't know, it's words. quite contrary, but I'm enjoying it. Yeah. 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 So pre-warned, forewarned is forearmed, Karen. Mm -hmm. If you haven't seen this week's episode yet, first what, what's going on? What are you doing? Where were you? Go to BBC Three, go to the iPlayer right now, watch it and then come back, otherwise you won't know what we're talking about. And this will contain loads of spoilers. Mm. Spoiler alert! Wah! What, do it with me. Wah! 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 We can't make it any clearer than that. If you don't want to know, don't watch. If you don't want to know, don't watch. Don't Go and watch another review, cause we're telling things to you. you. If you don't want, want to spoil it, don't watch. There you go, made a song ready, up. Isn't it? That's how classy we are. Yeah. So, right, first this week, <gasps> this lovely week, the Vivian wins the micro mini challenge. Well, yeah, she got chose to pick the um, what they were, what they had to do, didn't she? Yeah, and so they did a, a tell. Them. Well, basically, what happened was RuPaul did some classic top-bottom gay humour, lol, um, by bringing out a sign that said top and a sign that said bottom. <laughs> and then what, because that's a really clever job. Um, and um, what they had to do was Vivian had to put in order from top to bottom who she thought was her strongest competition and to who she thought was her weakest competition. So, we'll show you the picture here. They, and that's the order she put Falcon. Mm. Notice. Do you notice though? Well, not really. I was going to say all the most experienced. It has kind of, it's got, it's, it's, it's a bit edge. This yeah, line, it's weighted. Really. Apart from Blue and um, Sharon. I was Sharon. Sharon Hall. Sharon Hall. Mm. As I think Blue pointed out, she was like, everyone over 30 to that end of the line. <laughs> Which I took issue with. <laughs> she was right. She was right though. Uh, mini challenge. Yeah, so Scaredy right at the bottom there as Viv's competition and what that meant was Scurdy became a team captain and the Vivian was a team captain. Yeah. For the acting challenge that was, tell them what it was called man. It was called... <laughs> it was called Downton Draggy. <laughs> uh, so obviously it was based on Downton Abbey and it was that kind of feel, you know, the upstairs, the downstairs kind yeah. of thing, wasn't Servants it? Servants and masters, um, yeah. We had some stellar performances. Brilliant. O o over these two challenges. I'm going to say... Go on. ...that the uh, highlights for me mm. over the two challenges mm. were a uh, bag of chips. Yes. Divina De Campo. Yes. The Vivian. The Vivian, yeah. And actually, Blue Hydrangea. I had no issue with Blue. This will become apparent why I was saying this later. Yeah. But I had no issue I, with her in this. I enjoyed her. Yeah. I enjoyed her commitment yeah. mm -hmm. to the role of a northern maid. Mm hmm She did the accent right well. She did. And it's, it's hard to do a proper northern accent, you know. We struggle. Especially when you're Irish. You've got a beautiful Irish accent oh, like she has. Oh, Irish accent. Oh. Have you got a thing for Irish accent? Yeah. Right. Irish people, what is this spell you're putting on us? Yeah. We want to know. We want to know. That's all I'll say. I'm not saying anything else. I think that's enough words. Yeah. What else do you want to discuss about the... Well, so the, the, first, the first group of the challenge was Viv's team. So Team Vivian, or Team Slag, as they call themselves, not my words, um, was Vivian Vinegar... Something and Bagger. Yeah. Um, we had Viv as the sort of Maggie Smith countess. Ooh, my doll. Yes. Oh, Ooh. her makeup was fierce. It was so good. So she is an incredible makeup artist. Yeah. The Vivian. And so diverse. I wish I had yeah. that kind of diversity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To be able to pull off all these different looks. She looked 
incredible. Stunning. I don't know if the co if the costumes for that particular thing were provided or if they had to bring them. I'm not but sure. But her wig was fierce. It was gorgeous. It was fierce. It reminded me of Bride of Frankenstein. Yeah. But not as severe. No, like you a know, sort of tone. It was down. more a it was more a, a root and then continued length job rather than a streak. Yeah. Have you, you know? ever had that? Oh, I have. Mm -hmm. Many times. Very good. Um, so yeah, she, Viv and Vinegar basically had a sort of master secretary, mistress secretary kind of relationship where with a fly swatter, that was fun. And then something was a sort of American cousin, I think that happened in the real Yeah, life. kind of based on um, Beyonce. Yeah, Mariah. Uh, oh, whoa, I thought it was Beyonce. No, it's Mariah. Oh, so similar. Right. Similar, big stars, big icons. Chris did that. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Maria. Well, they're all divas. They're all divas. And they're they don't all differentiate great. me. Yeah. You know. She'd been having carnal relations with this man from episode four. That was quite a good bit. Of oh, acting. it was funny. And uh, he died basically, so she has to call on the services of the maid. Much better. Bagger who. <laughs> I Bagger, almost wet myself. If we have the honour of you watching this, I'm not putting you on a pedestal or anything, but you are one talented queen. Funny the, lady. The, you've had me in absolute tux laughing for the last couple of weeks, actually. Mm -hmm. I've got both of us. Yeah. Uh, and and uh, my hubby. Yeah. I love going up in it. This is why I like a seasoned queen in this kind of episode. And I don't want to like you, Seth. You need a season. Who wants a plain dough? When you can have a season queen. Exactly. Do you know what I mean? Because you feel safe. I know I'm going to enjoy this because she knows what she's doing. Yes. That's what I will say. And that's going to come more apparent at the end of this episode. Yeah. Right, let's continue. So, so let's show. Group, yeah, but let's show. Uh, just a quick flash picture there. Bag of chips as the maid looking fabulous. Much better. <laughs> There's Divina as the maid in her challenge. Oh, wait, God. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then. Well, I'm just. Yeah, across, across yeah. 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 Because if you haven't seen the challenges, then none of this will make sense. Um, Scaredy, Crystal, Cheryl, and Blue there in an ensemble scene. Yeah, no, that's, a, that's a nice tableau. I like it. It's actually. a nice tableau. It's probably one of the highlights of the episode, the yeah. tableau. But. Um, some ting there first. Oh yeah, yeah. It. It's very good. And then Viv and Vinegar. Look at Viv's face. Let's not forget to talk about something one later. Yes, and we do need to. The links that that we've uh, that anyone could clearly see with mm -hmm. Kimchi. Yeah. Um, what you can't see. So if that that group shot. So this was that was the second team that had Davina as the maid. Scene stealing performance, in my opinion. Yeah, she's brilliant. Brilliant. She's brilliant. Uh, Scaredy, Crystal, Cheryl, and Blue. To varying degrees, I think it would be fair to say struggled. Yeah, I think it's. I I think maybe if you don't have much acting experience or you've never been a lover of that kind of drama. Mm -hmm. um, I can imagine this was quite difficult. Quite daunting. Yeah. 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 Uh, for some. Any road. Um, we'll get into that later. Um, we talked about this one. We've talked about them, yes. So that was the challenge, basically. Where are we going now? Um, shall we there. go to Runway? And before da, we, go, da, da. Shall we look at Rue? Shall we look at Rue first? Well, let me just... Oh, yes. Make them view first. Uh, there we go. Oh, now then. Now. As soon as Miss Rue Paul came down the runway, I was gagged. She was? I was gagged. She was chewing a cushion at one point. I was gagged, man. Mm. Gagged. That dress and that hair, it was giving me, it was giving me um, Marilyn Monroe, uh. Madonna, uh. Uh, kind of 1920s, 1930s, that, it, she, I was beat. She was beat, I was beat. Loved it. She looked really nice actually this week, I'd say. A really different look from last week when she had that fluorescent green on, which was cool as well, but for a different reason. Are we doing these NPA? Yeah. No particular order. Yeah, let's just NPA. go with the order they're on. Right, so here we've got. Uh, oh, do the runway theme first. Oh, what was the runway theme? So the runway theme was basically like Bond girl, villain, sort of. That's realness. the thing, it was kind of a mishmash of. Yeah. You know, because it, it had a kind of. Superhero yeah. vibe to it as well. Yeah. You know. So we've got Miss Bag of Chips as what was her name? Laser Manelli. 
clever. Very clever. Looking fierce there. Good. Fabulous little outfit. Beautiful outfit. Um, and smart. That's her brand. She's working it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And then we've got... I hear that you can't see us now. There's just pictures up. Never mind. We'll go through them, right? Yeah. So we've got Miss Blue here. As Triple Tartars. Fabulous. And Reboot. why why Triple Tartars? Well, Luke. Yeah. That's why. Look at that. And another one. Marvellous. Yeah. Medically, that's a nubbin. Not here. Then we've got Sharon Horn. As... <laughs> As double or dipshit. And then she flung that off mm -hmm. in a spinny fashion mm -hmm. and went, did ya? Look at me now. Do you love me with a garter? Which is a swimming costume. Yeah, I mean, that's not, no, no tea, no shade, but let's call it what it is, it's a swimming costume. Yeah, I, do, I would have put a bit more effort in. Yeah. Uh, underneath for me. Yeah. Uh, then we've got uh, fabulous Christelle Crystal. As um, Wonder Whipper. Um, she sort of had this orangey coat on, didn't she? Yeah, and then she did the whole spin. We're going to take this off. Ba bow, ba bam, to chew. Beautiful. She made all this costume herself. She even learned how to do the knots. I mean, that's a level of dedication. the show, isn't it? so that she could do the knot work over the top of it. That is a level of dedication. I mean, it kind of is, isn't yeah. it, really? She made Maisie Williams from Grey of Thrones. She would wince in work she, every time she cracked that whip. Yeah. She was like that. <gasps> now this, this I loved. Oh. The second she walked out, Davina, this look was just so beautiful and fierce and pirate dash, what was she called in um, that Bugs Bunny film? Oh, Jessica Rabbit. Jessica Rabbit. Jessica Rabbit dash pirate dash RPG character yeah. with a sword and, and everything. Yeah. Uh, she was just amazing. Here's, here's a nice close up. What did you pa call Paris Eatemol. Paris Eatemol. Girl, we're loving you. Tell you what we do and well it's in It's not the just UK. because we're from Manchester and you work up here a lot. It's not just because we're all northerners. No, it's You're not. You're one that. talented, fierce girl. Gorgeous. I'd be proud to be your mama. Mm hmm. I'm proud to be your mama. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. I'm very, I tell you every day, I say creeping my asthma, my lovely sweet darling daughter, who tore me from a V to my A on her entry into this world. And even despite that, despite the hours of microsurgery, reconstructive surgery I had to go through, I adore you. Do I not you do. tell you that? Every day, you do word and for word. Do you know what? She has had it hard to be fair. I came at Big Toe first, I will just say that. Already wearing sequins, already imagine the chaff. <sighs> right, right now, now, scaredy cat who mm, as came out called, as what's she called there? I can't mean, Kitty. Kitty Rouge, so she's sticking with the cat brand. Yeah, the cat. Well, I mean, that's okay. You that's know, her. She's, she's got a brand, she's going with it, she's sticking with it, that's fine. Well and good. <laughs> um, and the look was okay. It was fine. It was, it, it was, it was cosplay. Yeah. Uh, whereas a lot of the other looks ha were high drag with elements of cosplay. Yes. Yeah. I, agree. I would I would agree, I yeah. Think that's the best this way looked to. a bit like and this is not a reader, this looked like you could buy this at Smithy's. Let's show you this second one, so yeah. So there's this thing, this sign. She's got bang thing thing going there, on. Which is there yeah, you go. That was a thing. Uh, um, right, something wong comes out in this fabulous caped thing. Thing with her back rolls. I hope that fair fair was fake hard. Mm -hmm. Say it in your own accent. Gemini, I hope that fell with fate, love. Oh, I'm sure it would. She said in episode one, didn't she? She didn't have the money to buy a laboratory, so she makes a lot herself, so it's not going to be real. Because that's dear, isn't it? And so, a Lauren. Let's have a look at her uh, in another picture. Yeah. Okay. Lovely bald look there, which I appreciated. As yeah. you know, sometimes I'm a bald girl. She's awesome. Yeah. Vinegar! Vinegar! As. Oh, something was mating. And <laughs> I love this. Vinegar was Mrs. F tits. I don't know why that's so funny, but it is. It just is. It just is. She's uh, giving me Naomi Campbell actually a little bit. So let's give it a, a, a bit more of her look there. A bit of a close up on the makeup and the back shot. Mm. Lovely. And then 
Not, and we, like we say, not in this particular order. Because I can't even remember the order, uh, to be honest. I struggle. Ba bam! The Vivian comes out in this. Now, Vivian, darling, we were discussing this last oh, night. Yeah. Number one, girl. Girl, you smoking. She's beautiful. You hot. She's beautiful. Girl. Oh my god, girl. Also, girl, now you're, you've hit the big time. You can't wear that again. People have seen it. I'm a vegan queen. I'm all about re reduce, reuse, recycle. She's a vegan queen too. Although we look about a similar size, 14 to 16. Comfort. 8 to 10, this one. What anyway, just give her it. If you get rid of that outfit, I'd love it. It's a bit more of a, a close up. Uh, Very great strong. And look at her makeup again. Look gorgeous. at her makeup she again. She is gorgeous. Stunning. Um, so, I, now, I'm going to be really honest. I'm not going to lie. No, that's I not. Am, I'm not going to lie. I did say last week that I didn't have a particular penchant for Scaredy Cat. And I was a bit. Um, and still am a bit irked that someone with so little experience in drag was gifted this opportunity. We'll come back to that later. Yeah. Um, so, uh, here's the major spoiler now. Bottom three. Oh, who won? Oh, Bagger won the challenge this week, and well, rightly so. So deserved. So if deserved. you saw Bagger's May performance, oh my god, it was so it was so good though, wasn't That's it? That's all I'm gonna do from now on. Match better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, so the the bottom three yes. were Sharon Hull, yes, um, Blue Hydrangea, mm -hmm. and Scared Cat, yes. And then Cheryl Hull was saved. Sh uh, Cheryl Hull was safe, yeah, which left um, Scatter Cart and Blue Hydrangea to lap sink. Yep. Um, we've got a couple of pictures here. Yeah. Can I just say it to on this point? At the end of the lip sync, Blue pulled her headpiece off and she had a gorgeous wig. I know, we were like, why didn't you do that sooner, like halfway through the lip sync? Yeah, because it was, oh, it was thick, oh, it was it? so good. Beautiful little... Right, let's whack up these pictures quick because I want to get to talking and I don't yeah. want a massively long video. No, nor right. I. Although it'll probably be half an hour, I'm sorry, we've got a lot to talk about. Um, so here's a couple of shots of blue. In her lip sync. And here's a couple of shots of cat. Now, if you now here's the major spoiler, 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 spoiler. spoiler. Uh, so if you don't want to know the results, switch off now. I'm giving you three, two, one. Scared cat went home, and I think that we discussed in length in episode one review about Scared cat and Miss Goth Kendall. Mm -hmm. Neither of whom seem to have either A, confidence, like the confidence you need, or B, experience. Yeah. It was confidence in Miss Goffey's case. It was, in my opinion, a little bit more of a confidence. Oh, I was, you took the words out of my mouth. Then. In Scaredy Cat's case. Bordering on cocky. A little bit. A little bit. Let's say. Uh... So, am I sad that she was sent home? No. I still think that both these places, Miss Gothic Kendall and Scaredy Cat, should have been given to queens with more mm -hmm. who could really benefit from the mm -hmm. opportunity because I think that you need to grow, you need to have a dressing room as a kitchen or a smelly disabled toilet covered in piss on the floor. Yeah. You need to have somebody's beer breath screaming at you, Why don't you mind, Shirley? As you sing the song, you hurt your throat rehearsing. Yeah. You know. Um, yeah, you know, you need, you need you to need... be attempted to be touched up by drunks and fight them off and get cat called in the street and do your own packing and everything. And have people grab you without permission. Yeah. You know, 
Not that we're advocating that. No, absolutely not. You need to have performed, and drag is performance. Mm. Whether you are male, female, trans, they, them, IQ, PSW, mm -hmm. wherever you are, if you dress up and you perform, yes, it's drag, honey. Mm -hmm. That's drag right yeah. there. And because of our conversation about um, scared cat, yeah. And Miss Gothic Endo. We also said to each other last night, and I think it's a very true point, to be honest. We kind of said it at the same time. Now it's a show. Yeah. Now it's, now it's, it's a show. It's a fair. Every one of these queens is a seasoned working queen mm -hmm. who has, trust me, every single one of these girls has experienced one of the things we just mentioned. Every single one of them. Yeah. And yeah. that's what being a drag queen or king is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it, it's it, performance, it, honey. It's graft. Shows like this show, The Glamour, it's graft. When it's I, hard work. When I take this off, I put my jeans on, I put my builder's voice on, I say, hey, what's on telly? Let's watch some stuff on telly. Get myself some chips, scratch me bum. <laughs> Uh, uh, I mean, no, she's I'm right. I'm keeping it real, honey. I'm she's keeping right. it real. I have to, yeah, and you know, in my spirit of being firm but fair, I will say that lip sync wise, the decision was correct. Yes. I did not, and this is a personal opinion about the work, not the person. I did not enjoy a single thing that Kat did this week. I found it um, below standard. And the lip sync, if I can be brutal, was an embarrassment. Uh, so, hey. cat. It's getting cat. Ah! The lip sync was just embarrassing uh, for all concerned, really. Blue did a good job, bless her. Uh, but it was right. Now, go away, cat, and start working. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because you can do it. You, I know you can do well, it. Well, she's going to get the opportunity. She's kind of built her career backwards. Yeah. She started in her bedroom. She's been given this mass opportunity, which will now give her the opportunity to perform and learn. Yeah. But it's going to be a steep learning curve, sweetheart. Yeah. I mean, it really is. You're going to have to learn quick. And I don't hate you as a person. God, no, that's what it's, I mean. Yeah. It's, it's that you and Gothi, to us, were, were Gothi lacked confidence. You just a tad too much yeah. confidence. And I uh, just wish you'd have done a bit more performance before you went in there. But, you know, well done for getting on there. Absolutely. Now, can we talk about Something Wong? We can. Because when Something Wong was discussing her parents, and she basically declared, revealed, mm -hmm. that they don't know that she told her dad when she was about 12 that she was gay, mm -hmm. and he never mentioned it again, neither has she, mm -hmm. ever. And it's that whole, it seems to be um, a, a thing, particularly with Eastern families, uh, Chinese, Japanese, yes. and Korean, there's this, 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 the younger, the children mm -hmm. seem to find it much harder to carry the expectations yeah. of the family. So rather than, here you take me as I am, mm -hmm. it's, no, this is what I want you to believe about me. Right, yeah. And so we heard something Wong talking about this and it was really upsetting because it took us both right back to kimchi. Yes, it did. It said exactly the same It was thing. a real moment of vulnerability for her as well, which I, I love that she did. I adored that she did. I adored that she did. Uh, speaking of moments of vulnerability, mm. Davina. Davina had a moment on the main stage where even though she'd been praised... Just take a piece of this, would you? Put it in your pocket. Yeah. You got a piece of it, it's yours, honey. Yeah. You should, you, you keep that. You have that for you. Oh, but you are there. You're just not conscious of yourself being there yet. Mm. That's what it is. Because you've been spectacular. Yeah. From the start. So, I think it must be daunting, though. It's, I it. feel you've I'd probably been the way now. of expectation. With this eight? Yeah. Oh, my goodness, would I be daunted. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. You're all fierce and amazing queens. Yeah. In your own ways, mm -hmm. you know, some looks are better, some actors are better, mm -hmm. but you've all got so much going for you, and I'm so yeah. utterly 
honestly, from the heart, proud mm -hmm. of you. And you, Scurdy and Gothy, just in case you, 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 you watch this, I'm proud of the fact that you've, you, you were given this opportunity and you did it, girl. Your spirit. You know what I mean? Do it, yeah. Just take it forward yeah. now. I can't wait to see where it goes from here. Really excited, actually, yeah. to see, yeah. So all we were saying, Davina had this moment of vulnerability. Yeah. Where, where she really said to you, she doesn't feel like she's present. Yeah. yeah. And then everybody was a bit kind of picky at Cheryl Hall mm. in the Untucked. I'm sure I thought that. Yeah, fabulous uh, picture here of them all. And kind of the people that know Cheryl were mm. saying to her, you're not being you. Yeah. You're not being yourself. It reminded me a little bit of when, do you remember on the American version with Legandra Estrange where they were like, this yeah, is not you, this is yes, not who yeah, you yeah. are. But, Cheryl said, I'm on a show. Yeah, operative word, show. Do you know what I mean? And like, I'm, try, I'm trying to walk my game, I'm trying mm. to be more than the, I am, which of course you've got to do, it's a TV show, and when the, all said and done. Well, these girls know what this franchise is as well. Having seen Drag Race US for 11 seasons and four All-Stars, they know you've got to make your mark, build your brand, and even if you become, you know, a meme like Vanjie was or something, but you got to get a gimmick if you want to get a head. Exactly. So she's probably like, right, best foot forward. I'm not going to be caught exactly. sleeping on the job. Exactly. You can't be everybody's best friend and no. be, oh, she's dead approachable and accessible. Is she? Now, we've this got, is not three, RuPaul's we've got best friend three Grace. minutes left of half an hour. Can we wrap this up? Let's think? wrap it up. So, yeah. Because I think we've done well here. We have. We've kind of covered everything. Mm -hmm. I, I honestly am so... I'm just so proud of you. Every single one of you girls. Yeah. And I know it probably don't matter to you. Some old queen from Oldham who's doing a review show on YouTube. Who cares about what you think? I'm going to tell you what I think anyway. I'm massive heart proud of every single one of you. Massive heart proud. You, you're doing us. So proud. Yeah, you're doing Just British so drag proud. in the style that this show is in. Proud as well, yeah. I would like to say. Absolutely. Um, I didn't want to say British drag overall because there's a lot of drag. I wouldn't know, want to be in any of your shoes now with you eight left. I think you're all incredible. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to see who wins. I can't wait to see next week's episode. So excited. Just thank you so much for watching with mm -hmm. us. And if you haven't seen it, go and see it immediately. Yeah. Honestly. It's such a good episode. And thank you, girls, for not being afraid to show yourselves. Yes, the humour. The humour, the humanity. Yes. The vulnerability. Or, the honesty. It's yeah. adorable. And it's such an inspiration to young LGBTQ people. Absolutely. Such an inspiration. Keep it up. We love you. We do. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you next time on Drag Race UK, episode three review with the vegan queens. For this was review episode two.